Hi, welcome back to my channel. And if you're new here, welcome to my channel. I'm going to be showing you guys some of the jewelry I've made in the last little while. It's all handmade, one of a kind by me. I would like to do a giveaway also. And if you're interested, hit that like and subscribe and leave a comment. Also, if you're interested in anything here, let me know and I'll give you my email. Thanks for watching. All right, first we have here is I had made some earrings with some pieces that I got from a store. I think it was Michael's. The little drops with the stones. And I put the little jump rings on the bottom because I wanted to add it and make it extra. I think it looks cute. Here I have some jump ring earrings. I think they called it chain mail back in the day, but it's fun to make. Cute. There's some more here. I put the beads at the bottom because I wanted to add something to it. Oops. Let me flip this around here so you can see the color in the stone. And the little dangles. I like that it dangles like that. Like. This one's similar, but it's silver. Here's some hearts for Valentine's Day. I think I might have a matching bracelet. Yes, I do. This is made with metal and jump rings in between. And there's the heart. I like these beads as sparkly, shiny. Next is this. I ordered these beads off of Wish. I really like these. They're really cute. Pink. And that's the toggle clasp. Toggle clasp, whichever way you want to say it. With the little jump rings in between. I'll hold that up so you can see it better. And here's jade, real jade with a toggle clasp. And a nice blue one. I believe I got these beads at um, a dollar store maybe. Most of them, these ones. But not these, these were online. Put the blues together here. Here's a blue. I really like these ones. They're really cute. And that one's got a different clasp. I like these ones better. I'm trying to think of the name. I can't think of it right now. It's um. <laughs> the claw. <laughs> The claw clasp. That's a jump ring one. Rose gold bracelet. So what I did with this is I was thinking maybe I should go with one, one, and then one, 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 one. Like just keep going with ones, but I want to do two and one, two and one, two and one. Sometimes it gets really hard 
to put the jump rings together because you got to align them to make them perfectly like when you're using the um the pliers you want to make sure you're going like this and you're making sure that they're like right like that if you can see you stop moving here really really close it can get hard sometimes hard to do but i like doing it and it's worth it there's some more here these ones i have them all together for now there's a pink move that one out of the way pink pearls with pink shiny with the jump rings in between you can do it without the jump rings if you really wanted to i just like to add that in there because it makes it look like it's it just looks nice to me it does and then this one is these were bought at michael's online on online uh i'm trying to think of the name of this stone uh z tech c tech i don't know if you know what it is let me know i'm trying to remember but I could put it like right on my arm so you could see what it would look like. There's a lot going on right there. Or I'll just lay it back out like this. To me, it's like a champagne color. More jade with blue some pinks with some purple here's another heart one I made I put the heart in the middle I was gonna put it towards the end but I figured it looked nice in the middle the jump rings and different beads that I put in there Let me hold that up. There's a little bit more jump rings here. Jump ring bracelets. I hung some of these. What I did was I took five and I hooked them each inside each other. And in here I put different colors. Now this one's like one on three. So I put like a lot. Sometimes I'll do one with three, one with two, two with two, one with four, depending on the pattern that I want to make there with the jump rings there. Oh, it's better to look like this. You can see it better like that. Actually better if it's holding it so you can see it hanging. All right, here's the last few pieces for this video. I will be doing more on the next one. This is a choker styled jump ring necklace, rose gold. I added a an extra there, some more extra chain, and a bracelet that's ones and two. I call it one and two. I don't even know. <laughs> I just I'm just saying that, but yeah. The pattern is pretty much one and two, one and two, just go like that. I like it. I think it's cute. I'll throw in a couple earrings here at the end. Some pink, because it's Valentine's Day. The pink balls with the swirls. And untangle it here quick. And these are really cute. I really like this. How I did this one.
lay that one out there. I wanted to dangle a piece there. And there's these, they kind of look like snowballs, but they're pink. I love that shiny sparkle. And do more. Well, one more pair. Those kind of look like little candies. Thank you for stopping by. I hope you like the jewelry I showed you. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on my next one.